Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Lancelot Ward and in today's video, five quick ways to get rid of anxiety forward slash depression. One thing that I do want to mention is that everybody gets anxiety and depression from time to time. Anxiety and depression can never truly be cured as they are human emotions. And just like seeing all the different colours of a rainbow, it's important that we connect with them all. But it's what we do with these emotions that counts. Number one, first, we need to make sure that what we are labelling as anxiety or depression is actually anxiety or depression. For a long time, I was labelling what I now refer to as my recovery time as anxiety and depression when it just simply wasn't. I have been dieting now for over a year and I kept thinking that I was getting anxiety and depression two or three times a week. What I learned was that when you cut calories and you're also training really hard, what tends to happen is your blood sugar goes really low, which just makes you feel terrible. So now when I do feel like that and when I do feel down, I just say to myself, it's recovery time. And I know full well that within an hour or so, the feeling will just pass. The funny thing is, there have definitely been times where I have actually had mild anxiety or depression and I have accidentally labelled it as recovery time. And because I thought it was recovery time, the anxiety and depression just flowed straight in and straight out of me. So even if you are feeling anxiety or depression, use a different word to describe it. Recovery is a great one. Resting is also good. Healing, chilling, you get the idea. But choose a word that's fitting to you. Number two, if it is truly anxiety or depression that you are feeling, then let the emotions in for a while and embrace them. Let these emotions run wild and do their worst. Listen to the saddest songs, watch the tear-jerking films, cry, pull miserable faces, write down whatever it is that is on your mind and whatever it is that is bothering you, no matter how unimportant it may seem. By doing this, it gets the emotions out of your system, it releases the emotions. For me, it's similar to sexual frustration. If I hold on to that emotion for too long, all I can think about is sex and I can't concentrate on anything else. But once I've had sex or masturbated, I'm fine. The emotion has literally come out of me. Come out of me? Really? Really? Another thing I have found once I have released the emotion is that after a period of time, I actually get bored of being in that state. You let the emotion in, you released it, and now you wish to move on. It's like if you overeat or oversleep, eating gets boring, sleeping gets boring. Once you oversatisfy an emotion, it then becomes boring. Number three, use a high caffeinated beverage or supplement to get you out of that emotional state fast. No one drowns their sorrows with a shot of espresso. Caffeine jumpstarts the mind to a more productive and focused state. It's impossible to be focused and productive while being anxious and depressed at the same time. You may have to monitor your caffeine intake because in some cases caffeine has been shown to increase anxiety. But when used correctly and at the right time, caffeine can be highly beneficial as I'll explain in point four. Number four, whilst in this state, you are more likely to move around and be energetic. So why not capitalize on the caffeine rush and do some exercise? While any exercise is better than no exercise, certain types of training can release tons of endorphins. These endorphins are like a reward system for the mind. They can make us feel happy and positive for hours or even days 
after the initial exercise. Any exercise that is orientated towards HIIT training, which stands for High Intensity Interval Training or Resistance Training, or even a combination of the two, tends to give the longest lasting endorphin rush. Number five, play video games. If you are like me, then you have probably thought that you are too old to play video games, but nothing could be further from the truth. Video games actually provide a great platform for you to focus your attention on and also are very therapeutic. Not to mention, they also improve your reaction times and hand-eye coordination. For me personally, I had not picked up a controller since the release of the PS3. So, I decided to buy a PS2 and play some games that I remember playing when I was a teenager. I've got to say, I absolutely loved it. It took me back to a time in my childhood where anxiety and depression didn't even exist. It also helped me make the transition to the newer consoles, which seemed a little bit intimidating because I hadn't played for so long. Even if you can't get a games console, there are plenty of free games on the App Store and Google Play Store that are just so fun, it's impossible to get anxious or depressed while you play them. So just to summarise, number one, don't label the wrong emotions as anxiety, or depression and use different words to describe how you're feeling. Two, if it is anxiety or depression then fully embrace it and then release it. Three, drink a high caffeinated beverage or supplement to get your attention and focus off the emotions fast. Four, Capitalise on the caffeine rush and do some HIIT training, resistance training, or both to give you a big endorphin rush. Five, play video games. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out. I'm trying to get my channel recognised, I'm trying to do more content, so please do, and we'll see you next time.